There's going to be two phases before the games and during games time. So for the games time, of course, we're going to we're going to engage a lot of uh, young people, volunteers. We're going to create a big group of volunteers, young volunteers, and we're working very strongly on the empowerment of the youth. So we delegate, we give power, we give trust to youth. So we will have a lot of youth during the games. That's one of the things. Before the games, we're engaging the schools, a lot of schools, uh, to to be activate to activate today already. Uh, to develop the concept of the games, uh, digital strategy, for example, or the mascot, for example. We're working with the youth today. Well, re the youth games is not, not only about sports, right? So we, we, we try to, uh, to start a lot now with the culture education process. So, for example, the mascot, we're working with a very re renowned uh, school in Lausanne. There's 800 children, uh, pluridisciplinary. Uh, they're doing everything in the school. They have video, they have the sculpture, they can do, uh, the, how you say, with clothes, they can build clothes. So they're doing the mascot now. They've been working for us since, since six months. It's an amazing project. We have 19 mascots. We just went down to five mascots. It's a secret project now, but it will be open to the public very shortly. So we are really engaging the entire school, 800 students uh, from the entire French speaking part of Switzerland. It's very interesting because we always thought that to talk to youth, we should use digital strategy, social media. But actually, we have an internet side, we have a Twitter, we have a Facebook, and we analyzed this in six months. And actually, the average age of the people watching it are more than 18 years old. So it's probably not the right way to do it. And uh, I think one of the fantastic ways, which always is very successful, is having youth talking to the youth. Uh, seeing young athletes doing young, amazing things as a young athlete to a young public they can talk to them. So you don't have the star very far away from the youth, but a young athlete talking to a young person. So I think we have to do a lot of uh, relations, talking to the youth, by the youth. I think it's a good way to talk to them. Well, I think the amazing challenge for us, Lausanne Olympic capital, which is known, having uh, Pierre de Coubertin who came to Lausanne, having the IOC there, having all the federations and the international organi organizations, I think one of the big challenges is now to become an Olympic city. So really to take advantage of this Lausanne 2020, uh, to put Lausanne on the map of the world as an Olympic city, a true Olympic city, moving, uh, doing sports, uh, have some changes, behavior change of people, uh, eat better, have better health, and move a lot. Move, 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 move.